Holy crap. River rats, this river's, I, uh, yeah, just about ate it there. Uh, the river's really low. Honestly don't know if saying the river is low even acknowledges how low it is. I think last time I was here, if I was standing at this point, I'd be under like five feet of water. But Anyway, I'm waiting on Ryan. For once, I'm not the late one. He's the late one. So a lot of weird things are happening right now. Getting crazy. But uh, we're going to try and catch something to eat. And if we're lucky, we're going to catch something big. So let's go. Had my bait in the water for 30 seconds. Why am I not getting bit, Ryan? This is channel cats, it should not take that long. They should be jumping out of the water to grab it. We'll get a little closer. Well executed. Thank you. And I'm stuck on the log. Ooh, I have a nibble. Missed him. Sure he was giant. Oh. It's probably Creek Chub. Which would be fine. We're gonna be a hundred percent serious, it's probably a four inch channel cat. But I can't remember the last time I was a hundred percent serious about anything. We're we're making headway to camp. We're gonna get camp set up, we're gonna get some baits out, and we're gonna cook some food, and life's gonna be pretty all right. Not that it was bad before, but it's def definitely gonna get even better. Stars aligned, and I've managed to land our first fish of the trip. That'd be a wonderful aquarium fish. And, uh, nah, I probably shouldn't. Should I? I can add him to the tank with Frankie. We're gonna get trucking. We got a long ways to go in a short time to get there. And I'm hungry and I'd like to eat some brats. Apparently there's gonna be no fresh channel cap for this evening, but brats ain't a bad fallback plan. Yeah, she's a little low. We'll make it, I think, maybe. Ryan and I are at kind of the spot where we're prospecting. There's a little depth here. I got my fish finder out, keeping a good eye on it. There's there's some cover underwater. Not a lot, but it looked like tree branch. Fish finders are almost cheating. I don't use them to find fish so much as I do look at like depths and drop-offs and water temp and everything. Well, would you rather fish spot that's six foot deep with cover or six foot deep without cover? That's kind of where I'm at. Some people like to bounce around, it's not not really my thing. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I like to settle in, get comfortable, enjoy myself, relax, and you know, set up in a spot where I got a really good shot at a, a nice fish. I don't know if it's touching the bottom or not, because it's bobbing. The only problem is when you hook a one pound sucker on that thing, he's gonna tote it around if it ain't dragging the bottom. Well, he'll tote it around even if it is dragging the bottom. We found a brush pile that makes me uh, think I need to impersonate a squirrel to fish here, which are my favorite ones. <laughs> Never made that connection until just now. I'm ready for some brat horse though, yeah. dude. Yeah, let's get some baits in the water and cut some brats. I do enjoy me some sandbar fishing, even though the fishing usually isn't as good. Well, just the comfort, you know, just nice chilling on a sandbar. You know, I'm I, I'm a guy who don't like them cold fronts. I, the, yeah. Well, right away. It's pretty consistent though. It's been pretty chilly at night. Well, like two days. Yeah. I like them where it's like seven days of consistent weather and then you have a big front that's gonna roll through and everything's gonna change. Yeah. And then be out there that night. That, that Those are my favorite nights. I don't know how much truth to the positivity of fishing it, it is, but, cause I've been skunked on them nights too. Absolutely. Well, I mean, you just gotta fit. That's, right. That's the only thing that's gonna hold true. Fact. If you're fishing, you have a shot. Fact. Got my fancy new net, brought it just for you. Nice. I think it's an Ego bait net. Floats. I've got the exact replica of it. You have good taste. Or bad taste. Either way. 
Yeah. It dips now. It scoops bait. I'm gonna have to get used to these fancy new reels. The drag's almost disgustingly smooth. Holy snikes. 25 pounds, but it's smooth. 25 pounds. Oh, it is tomorrow. I wonder what could go wrong with this setup. <laughs> we might do it, because then I can drag him up. Can I drag him up through here? Definitely gonna have to put the boots to him though. The shiners are jumping. Can't be bad. Ooh, I can hear that thing burning from over here. It's good sound. It is. Oh, you got the good brats. Oh, and the poppers. What are puffs? Potato puffs? Uh, seasoned tater tots. Oh. That's not. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> A lot of things just went wrong. Oh, I had the one I wanted. Could use a net, but... I mean, it, it is. Like <laughs> it's too far away. <laughs> Alright, creek chub. That'll work. Did not check how sharp my hook was. Sharp enough. I've never had potato puffs in my whole entire life. It's a fancy word for potato tots, I think. They were seasoned tater tots. I, I can get on board with it. Yeah. yeah. We will make it work. Yeah. <laughs> Any potatoes, all right by me. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate that at all. It's a pretty good idea. Never thought of that. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> Yeah, those are going to be phenomenal. My creek chub don't like where he's at, which makes me like where he's at. Absolutely. Oh, there's a couple of them. Yeah. Those are the ones that don't like. Oh, that one's big. Yeah. I think my problem with spiders is that, uh, like, people freak out about snakes, but you could pick up a snake, and you grab him behind the head, he ain't going to bite you. Yeah. You can't pick up a spider in any fashion without him having the capabilities of biting you. He has the advantage. Right. Most of them wouldn't think of it, but... Every one of them would. <laughs> I saw the look in his eyes. All eight of them. <laughs> I used to be kind of fascinated by spiders growing up, but anymore I'm like, just stay away from me. <laughs> Still like snakes. I think snakes are cool. I'm not a fan. Anything you could literally cut in two pieces and both pieces go different directions, not a fan. So you don't like worms? Completely different. No, it's not. Yeah. Based on what you just said, it's the exact same. Quit bringing, bringing logic. <laughs> Sorry. Stories. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Won't happen again. It's going to happen again. <laughs> Need some cut bait before I eat. <laughs> <laughs> Need to get some scales all over my hands. I think you've got a lot more forties than you give us credit for. All I know for sure is this is going to taste delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Cheesy, bacony vegetables with just the, the right amount of crisp on it. You're oh, high. Little You're... crab meat thrown in there too. Oh really? Uh -huh. Just throw you a little curveball. One of Hy-Vee's Best inventions, I believe. Mm, agreed. No? Uh, I didn't like that last no, part. Me neither. Act like a turtle now. It's very turtleish. It is very turtleish. This tur but, I don't think turtleish was a word before just now. I oh, I got whatever it is. I think it's in a stick. Actually, it's definitely in a stick. It felt kind of solid. Or maybe it was a stick. Oh, it, the rig came out. 
with no fish on it, though. What do you hit? Live bait or the dead bait? I'm not sure. That sucks. That was a good run. Yeah. Probably the only reason it stopped because it was hung up on that stick. At least there's action. We got his guts. That's a good bait, man. It wasn't a turtle. Little flathead. Like a three pounder. Couldn't pull the eight ounce weight. Every rod is getting hit right now. This is getting out of control. This is ridiculous. All short biters. Load it up. Alright, the bugs are out of control. Oh yeah, get that nice <laughs> crunch in there. I like it. Yeah, you won't hear me complain about this, dude. Especially with the little Franks on there. Oh yeah. It's a few bugs to add a little more protein. <laughs> Right. And a 50 pounder. Yeah. If you got a bait left. There's no kidding. I thought it was this one, Bob. Oh, this one's completely flat. The only thing I can confirm are those tater tots are bomb. <laughs> Not helpful, Spencer. I'm sorry. <laughs> Load it up. Just wanted that hook to start working. So many turtles. <laughs> Spun my rod holder clear around. Well, I got it for the moment. <laughs> it's flapping. It's in somebody's, oh, it's in a log. <laughs> That is lunch, if I ever saw it. He ate the cut bait. <coughs> Imagine that's a lot of, uh, well, something just crawled on my leg. Ah, there's a spider on me. I'm such a weenie sometimes. <laughs> familiar. Add them to the pile. Yeah. Splash buddy. Splash buddy. <laughs> what time is it? Swap out or check out baits I suppose. In the log. Or is it a turtle? It is a turtle. <laughs> Sorry, turtle. <sighs> Made it a long ways without getting my feet muddy. That moment has officially just come to an end. But we got one more for the pile. Fine eating specimen. That was about the type of evening I thought it was going to be. I need to get rolling, but I need to get properly caffeinated. What'd you find? It looks like a tool of some sort. It does. Does it not? That is sweet. I cut those logs off this morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's sweet, dude. Yeah. I was like, huh. I've never found an artifact. It was this side up. It definitely looks like they've... Somebody's been working on it, like, yeah. holding it in their finger right yeah. there. 
At least that's what I'm imagining. I might Me be too. full of crap. Yeah, but. I don't know. It looked cool. Is that your bobber over there? Yeah. My uh, last fish came in without a weight on it. I really don't want to put a weight on it, so I just cast her out. <laughs> put out two rods with double hook cut bait rigs and sat by them. Yeah. And just uh, left them in gear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Let them load up some surfing, huh? Mm-hmm. My arms would be sore from reeling in so many fish if we would have fished them like that. Yeah. But my thing is, though, with channel cats, I don't want to catch them like that. Yeah. If I'm going to sit out at night, I'm going to flathead fish. Absolutely right. If I'm going to channel cat fish here, I'm going to take a bobber in my float rod, and I'm going to float a bobber. Or I'm going to go to Sailorville, and I want to troll around for him. Yeah. And then I'm going to go home and go sleep in my own bed. Mm-hmm. Although, this is the time of year where I sleep great outside. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you want to hold up our uh, our prize? Our winner, 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 winner catfish dinners. <laughs> I, they, they are going to taste lovely. Today. That ain't no kidding. I probably am going to actually cook them for dinner. Are you proud, Ryan? I am not disappointed. That's true. Are you hungry? <laughs> like to keep them lively so they stay fresh. Yeah, yeah that way uh, they're burning off fat, right? Now. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a nice That lean, good lean filet. Nice <laughs> filet. Started doing the number crunching in my head. I should probably hurry up and get out of okay. here. Well, River Rats, you can't complain when you're catching fish, and you probably shouldn't complain anyway because it makes you sound like a crybaby, but that's just my opinion that you didn't ask for. Hope you enjoyed the video. I really do, and if you want to see more, hit the like button. Wait, I got that backwards. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate you watching, for real. Hope you catch a giant.